When the actor and comedian Roy Hood died in March 2020, the COVID pandemic meant that his family and friends couldn't hold a memorial service. And now they're planning to celebrate his life with a special theatre show in London. That's happening in May, starring his friends Alison Steadman and John Corshaw. We will be speaking to John in a moment, but first, let's take a moment to enjoy some of Roy's work. The one and only Mr Roy Hanna! Our father wanted papering and Pa said it was waste to call a paper hanger in, so he made some paper. He bought some rolls of paper. Hi, and welcome to another programme of rough-hewn good humour and, and tremendously high spirits. What are we... <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to be this week? Rubbish! <laughs> Funny. That's what we're going to be, isn't it? We'll never top those trousers, folks. Sue <laughs> so Dad fell down the stairs and dropped his paper hanger's can on little Henrietta sitting there with her young man. The pace stacked them together... We're joined now by Roy's widow, Debbie, and the comedian, uh, John Corshaw. Uh, Debbie, it's so nice to hear you watching that and chuckling. <laughs> well, I can't help it when I hear that voice. It's, you know, it was part of my life for 40 years. And you had a very uh, difficult time. This is sure. uh, during COVID and during lockdown. Mm, yeah. Um, because you had a loss and then you couldn't do what, as a lot of families yes, uh, will absolutely, absolutely empathise with, mm. you couldn't do what you would naturally have no, done. No, it was just me and the dogs there for the first year. But um, I did try to, gave me a chance to try and do a memorial service and I booked it three times and I had to cancel three times because of Covid. But that also gave me time to think, should I put my energies into something else rather than just one day a memorial? Why not something which will be there for many, many years and to come? And what did you end up coming up with? A statue of Roy. Not up on the pedestal, because that's not Roy. So paint a picture for us. Where will it be? What will he be doing? It will be outside the Theatre Royal at Bury St Edmunds. Um, Roy's sitting on a bench, so you can... He'll be like this, and you can sit with him and have a natter. Oh, I see. So or it's an kind ice of like cream. A, like immersive, so <laughs> yes, you can actually... Yes, OK. Yes. And we've got a fantastic sculptor who's agreed to do it, uh, Sean Hedges Quinn. So um, it's all stations go. And just to explain, Bury St Edmunds, what's the link there? Well, it's, it's about half an hour from where I live, which is great. But Roy did many shows there, and we um, put the show together for the theatre's 200th birthday. And, um, yeah, he, it's just such a beautiful little Georgian theatre. And Bury St Edmunds itself is a beautiful town. So, um, yeah, we had that connection there. And, as I say, Roy did his one-man show there. We did that birthday show. He did Goodnight Mr Tom there. And we went and saw many shows there So well. where do you fit into this picture, John? <laughs> well, he doesn't. We... <laughs> <laughs> I just dragged him in. Moral <laughs> support. <laughs> I shall love to see the statue when it's done, and, and you might even so. unveil it. I don't well, know. Well, well, <laughs> but it's it's wonderful to you know. We think of the great statues, you know, Les Dawson, Eric Morecambe, Roy yes. should be up alongside, yeah. alongside those, and uh, I shall be uh, taking part in the uh, the show, the Roy Roy Hoodlines, <laughs> at the Sondheim Theatre in May, which will be a the statue will celebrate Roy in, in mm. that manner, and the show will celebrate his his, his presentation, his comedy, the great yes. satire about Roy as well, done with that great lovely warmth. Well, you you will really. I appreciate John. I mean, and I must admit, I, there was quite a bit I, d I didn't know about it. But his background, right back in the early days, uh, in I think he was in Butlins, wasn't he? Doing yeah. this stuff then. Mm. Yes, indeed. You, you think of Roy as a great sort of ringmaster, the impresario, <laughs> but also the presenter, the comedian, with that great, great warmth. And of course, when we think of the the the, uh, the news headlines. Uh, on the radio, you know that those gags they were not afraid to bite with that satire <laughs> done in a sort of with great warmth But also oh, yeah. with the bite that you needed yes, yeah. And being a red coat is not a bad way to start is it lots of people in the stripes that way? Oh, Ooh. exactly, you know, that's a way to connect with audiences mm. Sometimes it's not just about the comedy it's about crowd control yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you, so you bring all of those all of those facets together So mm. the live show how much mm. of it will be planned in advance and how much of it will be improvised and you just have to let it flow well, I'm sure there'll be a, a mixture of all of that. Yeah. Mm. Plenty of improvisation, running with the spontaneity mm. when it happens, just as Roy did. He was so good at commanding all of that. The good thing about having John involved in the project is if you can't get someone to turn up, 
John can just do the voice anyway. <laughs> so you, you, it's, it's a win-win, <laughs> isn't it? We yes. might bring in a few special guests yes, and so on. Yes, yes, And I can't yes. wait to work with Chris Emmett either, yes. wonderful Chris Emmett. We were having a chat the other day. And he said, you do the imitations, I'll do the imitations. <laughs> oh. He's a great vocal cartoonist. Yes. You hear his voices and it puts such great images yes. in your mind of these larger-than-life characters. And he was with the show, the news headlines, for the whole 26 years, Chris. Wow. I can imagine, Debbie, that, uh, you know, we're laughing a lot now and you're seeing, you mm. know, uh, his work and... But the day, when that day happens, mm. it's going to be mixed emotions for you, isn't it? Because, you know, a lot of yes. memories... Yes, And it's, you know... The life you led together Absolutely, it yes. won't be easy for you, I'm sure. No, but at the same time, all the writers, the original writers, producers, the band, they're all coming, as, as John said, Chris. We've also got Nicola McAuliffe as well. Um, and they are part of our history of my life with Roy. So I'll be surrounded by all my mm. friends as well. But it will be a strange sensation. But everything mm. is a bit strange since Roy's gone, you know, but... Everything is a different world, I would imagine. It is, imagine. it is, yeah. absolutely. But I still look at his photo and tell him off when I've, I've done something wrong. <laughs> you know, but that, that's part of it, isn't it, moving on. But, um, yes, it's something which everybody's got so excited about. And I must yeah. say, Sir Cameron Mackintosh has been fantastic because it's going to be at the Sondheim Theatre, which is his theatre, and his staff have been amazing they've been so helpful i tell you one of the things i, I know your loss happened during the pandemic mm. but you, you'll both know this very well is people needed to laugh didn't yes. they and, yes. and you know that is one of those core principles we've spoken to a lot of comedians you'll know this john who weren't able to perform and exactly. one thing is it's bad in career terms but also in terms of just that sure. association with people Mm. Yes, ex exactly. Everybody needed to laugh and just see the light side of things, you know, the little things became the really important things. Mm. And uh, it was very interesting seeing all the different shows, how they adapted to doing versions on Zoom or, or without mm. audiences. It was a different feel to the shows, but we, we clung on to that, uh, mm. that sense of laughter. And Roy must have adapted a lot over the years in terms of <laughs> yes. comedy changing and, you know, yes. dealing yes. with different things yeah. and sensibilities. It was funny because he always, um, I mean, he was known for many things, actually, uh, love of musical and that sort of thing, but his great hero was Max Miller, and he used to do a 15-minute uh, Max Miller spot. But whenever we came north of Watford, he said it doesn't go very well. And I said, I've, n I've clocked what it is, actually, and it was because Max Miller's patter was so quick, and yes. in different areas, their ear didn't attune. Mm -hmm. So we just slowed We're it down. We're a bit slow up here, don't we? No. I'm a Lancashire lass, don't <laughs> no, worry. Joking. Got to know your audience. Yes, <laughs> but it was, it was. It was just a case of you adapting mm. like, the spots and once you know what you're dealing with, you're all right. Well, look, thank you both very much for coming in. Thank uh, you. The tickets to see uh, John, many others as well, in the Royal Headlines, uh, available to buy now. Good luck. On the 14th of May. 14th of May. Look forward, to, May. 14th of May. forward <laughs> to a trip to the bench as well. Thank you. Thank uh, you. That's it from breakfast. We are back with you tomorrow from 6. Time now for Morning Live.